Can you believe people are leaving Florida? Here are the top 10 reasons why people moved out of the state of Florida this year. If you're new here, my name's Alexandra Shoup and I'm a local realtor down on Florida's Space Coast. I have people calling me every day and I absolutely love it. So if you have any questions about what it might be like living in Florida or on Florida's Space Coast, go ahead and give me a call, shoot me a text message or send me an email. I've got your answers and I would love to chat with you. And if you wanna keep seeing videos like this, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. For the past several years, Florida has been one of the top states people are moving to. While more people are moving here than are leaving, people are still leaving the state. In fact, according to a study done by a moving company called Self Storage, Florida topped both the list of states that people most want to move to and move out of. Let's get into the reasons why. Number one, unaffordability. If you're one of the folks that has left Florida this past year, this will not come as a surprise to you. Here in Florida, everything has gone up, including grocery prices, insurance costs, housing prices, and property taxes. According to WalletHub, both the cities Miami and Tampa take spots one and two on the list of cities with the biggest inflation problems. Many people are getting priced out of Florida and have decided to move to a more affordable state. Number two, politics. This is both a major reason why people move to the state of Florida and why they leave. Over the past few years, people have been leaving blue states in droves for the state of Florida to escape new laws and local government policies. Now, Florida is generally considered a swing state, but that's debatable. Florida has not elected a Democratic governor or legislature since the 90s. Those that have moved here from blue states sometimes realize that Florida might be just a little bit too red for them and they decide to move back to a blue state. But they're not the only ones leaving. This year, Governor DeSantis passed some new laws and policies that negatively affect migrants, the LGBTQ community, and African Americans. Even some of DeSantis's biggest supporters were upset with a lot of the decisions he made this year and decided to leave the state of Florida. Number three, hurricanes. This is a big one. Everyone has some sort of bad weather, no matter where they live, whether it's earthquakes, snowstorms, or tornadoes. But people tend to get comfortable with what they're used to. Hurricanes can be really scary, especially to those who are not accustomed to them. And having to board up the house for a storm is such a pain. Some people decide that they don't want to deal with hurricanes anymore and leave the state of Florida for another state that doesn't have hurricanes. Number four, high insurance costs. Some people are finding that they can afford a home, but then they get priced out when home insurance comes into play. Florida experienced a homeowner's insurance crisis this year and home insurance rates skyrocketed. According to Policy Genius, home insurance rates increased by 68% in the state of Florida from year 2021 to 2023. That's crazy. With so many insurance companies pulling out of the state, Buyers have had a difficult time finding homeowner's insurance, especially if they're looking for homeowner's insurance on a home that is closer to the ocean. These cost increases have been enough to push some out of the state of Florida. Number five, heat and humidity. Florida is hot. It isn't necessarily the sweltering temperatures that get people though. It's the humidity. Some days it is so hot and so humid that you feel like you're trying to breathe through a wet washcloth. Some people that move here just can't handle the heat and humidity and decide to move to another state with a more mild climate. Number six, population growth. Some people move to the state of Florida from larger cities to enjoy a slower pace of life. But over the past few years, Florida has experienced significant population growth. We have over 800 people moving to Florida every single day. That's a lot. Population growth causes infrastructure issues, requires more police officers, more houses to be built, and more roadways to help with increasing traffic. While Florida does still have some sleepy beach towns, some people are unhappy with the population growth and have chosen to leave the state for a destination that is less popular. Number seven, Florida man. We've all heard of Florida man, and some of us have interacted with him. Due to Florida's year-round warm temperatures and mostly pleasant climate, 
Florida has a larger transient population than many of the colder northern places do. Florida Man can be spotted at the gas station, at your local park, and even at the grocery store. He's everywhere. He may even be your neighbor. Some people have become fed up with Florida Man shenanigans and have left the state. Number eight, home prices. While the housing market has began to cool in some cities, home prices continue to increase in many parts of Florida throughout 2023. In some places in Florida, home prices increased by up to 16% between years 2022 and 2023. This, accompanied by rising home insurance costs, has priced many buyers out of the market. First time home buyers that were previously renting, for example, are either moving to more affordable places in the state of Florida or they're leaving altogether. Number nine, remote work is over. Many people moved to the beautiful Sunshine State back in the pandemic days when remote work became increasingly popular. Well, now that we're transitioning back into more normal times, a lot of employers are requiring that their employees come back into the office and are canceling remote work. So a lot of remote workers are leaving the state of Florida because they have to go back into the office again. And last but not least, number 10, tourism. Tourism is huge in Florida and over 100 million visitors travel here each year. This is fantastic for local economies, but it comes with a cost. Tourists come with longer lines, higher prices, more traffic, and more trash left behind. Some folks never become accustomed to all the vacationers and the inconveniences that come along with them. These people have decided to leave the state of Florida for another state that has less vacationers visiting. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.